While we have our favorite rides and shows at every park, we're also going to be sharing our favorite drinks with you today. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, we're here to share our fun, love, and passion for all things Disney with you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing for Disney content every single day. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and a share. We love Walt Disney World. Yes, we, we love do. going to Walt Disney World. We love doing the rides. We yep. love seeing the shows. Hopefully fireworks one day soon. But we also really enjoy the dining. But even more so, we enjoy some of the drinks that mm -hmm. they have to offer at all the parks. So today, we're sharing the drinks, yeah. two drinks for each of us at each park. Sidebar, I cannot have artificial flavors. So sodas are not part of anything that I can drink anymore. So water is usually it. Or I might find something a little bit more interesting than water. And at the Animal Kingdom, oh, my favorite is Boozy Dole Whip with the dark rum because it's gluten-free, not with yeah. the coconut rum because that's kind of iffy. But yeah, Boozy Dole Whip with the dark rum, my first choice. My first choice, guys, and this here is for all ages, and that is the Night Blossom over in Ooh. Pandora. And with the boba balls and everything, it's just so good. And it's super sweet, but on a hot day, it's also super refreshing, really cools you down. My second choice is the Kumbu Ice Fall. It's a frozen drink. You can get it kind of over near Mount Everest. And it's like, ooh, cruzon, guava rum, coconut, and raspberry puree. Oh, it's a solid choice. And I'm going to second that. It's really good. It's really good. It's, and it's super refreshing, it too. It is super so refreshing, too. For all of you adults that just need a cool off, but you want something with a little bit of more help your feet out on the park. You just survived Everest. There you go. There you go. Now we're going to cruise on over to Hollywood Studios. We're going to Ogus Cantina, and I am totally having one of those fuzzy tauntauns. That's a drink that kind of makes your lips and your tongue go numb. It was pretty fun. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it is weird, but fun. And it does taste good, that's for sure. Yeah, it does taste good. Well, since we're at Ogus, I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to do like one of my favorites that was there, because we kind of did a couple of drinks. But mine was the Outer Rim, which is kind of really good. Too. It's kind of yeah. like a margarita, okay, ish, but it's um, it's kind of cloudy, so it looks really fun, and it's got this black salt rim on it. Yeah, it's super fun it and super it's refreshing. delicious. Ooh, yeah. You may as well just stay on Margarita Road. <laughs> All right, and let's cruise on over to the Brown Derby patio because they have like this cute little margarita flight that you can have while you're sitting outside and enjoy it. Wow, yeah, so let's go back on planet though, uh, over to Batu. Uh, they're in Galaxy's oh. Edge, guys. We are going to Docking Bay 7 for what I consider one of the best beers. So all you That's beer drinkers out there, one of the best beers on Disney property, period. And that is the Gold Squadron Lager. And that is right there at Docking Bay 7. It is delicious. It is cold. It is yummy. So there you go. Now for the kiddos, my favorite of the blue milks, let's just, you know, stay, stay on planet there. My favorite of the blue milks is green. So I highly recommend that. Now we've arrived at Epcot, our favorite park. And we've cruised on in and we're heading to the World Showcase. First stop, Mexico. Woo. Alrighty, I want that El Diablo Margarita from La Cava de Tequila. Yeah, well, it, it is so good with jalapenos in it. Oh, so mm. spicy. It is very spicy. Yeah. I love a good jalapeno margarita. I just I love jalapenos. I don't know something about in the hot sun because um, I tasted it. I made sure it was okay <laughs> for. Her. And in the hot poison. sun with that kick and the ice, it just, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just something so makes it perfect. Um, but not as perfect to me as the staying at La Cava de Tequila there, and that is the Dragona's Top Shelf. So Dragona's Top Shelf too. is amazing. I don't even know what's in it, except Dragona's Top Shelf. And it it's- that awesome- Oh, it did. Black yeah. salt rim on it. Yeah. It was so super good. I guess I good. like the black salt stuff. I think yeah, it's like it ant salt, really I think good. is what it's called, um, is like the name of it, but it's so good. Yeah, it was really good. His was also really good, but like I said, I like my jalapeno kick. It had tequila in it. That, I know that. 
<laughs> so all the other stuff, I'm not so sure, but it's delicious. Alrighty. So cruising around the world showcase, I'm going to stop at Italy, and I'm going to get a glass of Rosa Regale. That's that sparkling yes. red wine that we first had together on our very first trip together to Epcot. Dark chocolate with it goes so well. Because it is kind of bubbly, it's nice and refreshing. A little sweet, but with the dark chocolate, it all worked out. <laughs> yeah, which makes it even a little bit yeah. more sweet. <laughs> um, I would be right there with you. However, on our last trip, I fell in love with a beer over in oh. France. And I don't know if it's there all the time. It was there for the Food and Wine Festival. Yeah. And it is the Cronenberg 1664 uh, uh, Blanc. Sorry, Blanc beer. And it was amazing. So it's it's beer, kind of like a like a like almost like Belgian beer, um, but then with like this like fruity something going on with it. <laughs> it's just amazing. I it, I wasn't expecting to have a beer with that kind of that fruitiness in it, but it had all the you know properties of beer. And he had it with escargot. Yeah, and it was so good. <laughs> it was very refreshing. Now it's time to cruise on over the Magic Kingdom. Maybe catch a glimpse of Mickey. Ooh, I right. wish, wish we could actually take the Epcot monorail back to the Magic yeah. Kingdom since we're going from Epcot to there. But whatever. Soon. <laughs> Soon. It is getting repainted. The TTC is being repainted. They're giving it some love. Soon. Soon. Okay. And while we're but at the Magic Kingdom, I have to have one of those Peter Pan floats. There's just something. It's lime. It's mm. really super refreshing. I can have it because it doesn't have the dark artificial flavoring in there or the color. Um, I like that one. Second you on that one. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. And it's good for all ages. It is. And it is refreshing. Yeah, it's I mean, got it's that just, Sprite in there. Oh, and the lime and the, and the, the Sprite. Key lime. Ooh. Yeah, oh, it's so good, so good. Like I said, man, those artificial colors and flavors get me. All right. But my second best drink at Magic Kingdom, and I can only have like a sip or two, is when I steal a slip or two of Andy's Coke or Morgan's Coke. Otherwise, that end of the day sit down dinner and I can find a glass of wine on the menu and I'm pretty happy. There you the go. Liberty Tavern had a really awesome Pinot Gris um, that's just light and refreshing, nice white wine. It was really good last time. And it's usually is Morgan's Coke that we're both stealing off of. Let's yeah, face that's it. true. Yeah. Like, I just want a sip or two because I can do that without being in pain, but that's about all I can have. <laughs> yeah, like Morgan gets Coke at Disney World. So there you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's but her special drink at Disney World. My last drink, guys, uh, and this is just, it's, it's just, it's the perfect drink for the situation. Hmm. You're at their Magic Kingdom, you're either at lunch or you're at dinner, and you're sitting down at Liberty Tree Tavern and you get a Sam Adams. It just True. it just goes together. It's just it just feels right. And it's uh, I prefer the Sam Adams Oktoberfest, but obviously it's gonna be seasonal. But even just a straight up plain old Sam Adams is a great beer, especially with like a Thanksgiving dinner. So Yeah, you can't beat it from a founding father's beer. Yeah. So those are our drinks, guys. Let us know if you have any favorites in the yeah. comments below. Or if you've tried these and if you like them too. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to know if if, if what we said was actually good to you guys. So um, <laughs> Um, but for sure, if you have some ones that we didn't mention or yeah. that are like your like all-time favorites that maybe we should try on our next trip. Like non-margaritas. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Leave it in the comments. Uh, we'd love to know. But guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you will, on this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, it really does help the video out on YouTube. Helps our channel out as well. Also, share the video. Ding that notification bell. That way you're going to get notified every time we have a video and a short coming out. And guys, let's do it with gusto. Smash that subscribe button. Just smash it. And until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.